Hello, in this video I'm going to be showing all the 8 examples of AI, all the branches of it at least. So these are just the basic branches, this is not all the branches, there are many more, but these are the basics. So I'll be showing a visual explanation and I'll be showing examples. So we can start off with a simple stick figure. So here we can draw a simple guy here. We give him legs and an arm. All right, so we can start off with the eyes here. And on this channel, usually we do mainly computer vision, but we also started with some natural language processing and things to do with like text. And here we'll give him some ears. All right, so. We can start off with the eyes. Here is computer vision, or known as CV. An example of this would be a Tesla. For example, inside a Tesla on the screen, you could probably see how it has a bunch of lanes. And I'll show you all the cars around you, if there are people or bicycles or things like that. So here we can list Tesla. Other use cases for CV would also be people counters, like seeing how many people there are in malls. Nowadays you won't see that many, but you got the point. So we have people counter over here. Now the next thing we have is ASR, automatic speech recognition. And I'm pretty sure most of you guys have one of these at home, a Google Assistant, or even on your phone. So here we can put ASR, and we can put GA here for Google Assistant. Now the next thing we have are the arms and here we can put manipulation. Here we have manipulation and I don't know if you guys have seen these videos before but Boston Dynamics also makes these robots with AI and they usually move around and do a lot of things over terrain. I'll show a clip here in a second. All right, and we can put Boston Dynamics VD. And under here, we're gonna have locomotion for the legs. I'm gonna write local motion. And here we can. Uh, there's a lot of examples. Here we have Teslas again, like driverless cars, lane detection inside, and we have like some Roombas as well. They have some built-in features to go and clean some stuff. Um, here we're gonna write just driverless cars. Driverless. Alright. Next thing we have is the mouth. And here we can put TTS or text to speech. And this, an example of this would be an Alexa. So when it gives you a response after you ask it a question that would also be considered this branch of AI so we'll have voice assistant and it's not only this type but there's also a Google assistant Siri Cortana all of those as well those count voice assistant sorry for the bad handwriting this 10 all right next thing we have is the brain over here and there's a bunch of branches for this one one of them would be being planning and here in one second we can draw a bubble and planning here we have like step one and an example of this would be google maps for example when you need to find the fastest way to get to a certain location if you want to get to a, your nearest Safeway or something like that it'll show you the nearest location or not the nearest location but the fastest route to get there and that takes some AI as well so here we can put maps and we can put planning planning all right next one is kind of a bigger one but this one is almost two branches in one and here we can put 
natural language processing which is the bigger bucket for the two and for this one we have natural language understanding natural language understanding and then we also have natural language generation and these also tie in with uh, all the voice assistants. So for understanding is when you ask the device a question, it needs to understand what you are saying. So for example, if you ask what the weather is outside, it needs to understand that, process it, and then send it to a server. And then after that, it needs to actually give you the answer. So the difference between natural language generation and then text-to-speech is that they both do the same thing except one of them is in text format and one of them actually has to say it to you verbally so that's the two differences that sometimes people get confused with and we have an error up here so I would say automatic speech recognition natural language processing or natural language understanding and generation and then text-to-speech all kinda works in one ecosystem together on a voice assistant to give you answer so yeah, that's pretty much it for the basic branches of AI and usually this stick figure diagram over here is a really good way to remember all these branches and really helps a lot. So yeah, that's pretty much for this video. Make sure to check out our new natural language processing videos which I'll link in the description below. And yeah, that's pretty much it for this video. Make sure to like and subscribe and thanks for watching.